Originally, the former church dates 1231. In the beginning, the church, which was named San Nicola della Torre, was run by Augustinian monks. In 1369, the Benedictine nuns settled in and were soon expelled by the Pope because of their scandalous behavior. The nuns of Santa Chiara arrived in 1519 and started an important restoration of the church in the same year and dedicated the church to Santa Chiara, their saint. In 1810, following the Napoleonic decree, the church and the convent were deconsecrated. In 1826, it became part of a glass industry, the Cristalleria Franchetti. It is not an exaggeration to say that the glass cathedral of Santa Chiara was nothing more than a facade concealing a pile of bricks when the Belluardo and Cafadaro family acquired it in 2012. Though some parts of the building were still standing, the roof of the sanctuary had completely collapsed between the crumbling walls. It has been reopened to the public in 2016. The moving of all the furnaces to the island of Murano in 1291, created 500 years before the Industrial Revolution in Europe, the first industrial park in the world. The forced move of the furnaces, and thus also the glass workers and their families to Murano, was accompanied by a series of both incentives and restrictions put in place by the Republic. Glass masters received an elevated social status, well above that of other craftspeople. The daughters of glass masters were allowed to marry into Venetian nobility. Glass masters were permitted to carry swords and they were immune from prosecution. These were all fine incentives not only to make them move to Murano, but also for glass masters throughout the years to encourage their children to continue working in glass. It may also have had the effect of keeping the secrets of Murano glass production even more closely guarded, not only on the island, but also within families. On the other hand, so jealous was the Republic of the secrets of Murano glass that glass masters were prohibited from leaving Venice without express permission. The exporting of the secrets of Murano glass productions abroad was a crime, punishable by death. To become a glass master, you must work approximately 10 or 15 years side to side to master the dry. Glass is made out of silicium, a special sand that comes from Fontainebleau in France. The silicium is put into the furnace and after 12 hours at 1200 degrees Celsius, it molds into melted glass which becomes transparent once it cools down. The glass master works the molded glass at a temperature of approximately 900 degrees Celsius. So, as to obtain different colors of glass, we must add different minerals to the solution. For example, when we add cobalt, the glass becomes blue, and in cadmium you obtain yellow. With manganese, the glass becomes black, zinc white, copper green, and so on. Once finished, the object must be put in the kiln to slowly cool down, otherwise it will crack due to the difference in temperature. This furnace is the only electrical furnace on the island of Murano. Due to the historical importance of the building, that does not allow for use of gas. Now the master of the trial will perform for you a unique glass demonstration. And we would also like to remind you that our shop is open. Just in case we want to bring back a souvenir of your visit to the wonderful Santa Chiara Glass Cathedral.